Welcome to day 34 of the Restoration Fitness 90 Day Healthy Habits Challenge. I've been suggesting that you do some interval workouts for your cardio days, in addition to getting resistance training at least two to three times a week. One of the reasons for this is something that's termed EPOC, which is an acronym for Excess Post-Exercise Oxygen Consumption. Originally, this was thought of as oxygen debt, and the term was coined in the early 1920s by two researchers. Basically what this means is that when we exercise, we utilize things like oxygen and energy, and we have a change in our hormone status in order to be able to perform both resistance activity and aerobic activity. After the workouts are done, not only have we burned these things during the workouts, but our body needs time to return itself back to what's called homeostasis, or stability within the system. So, once our workout is done, our body starts working again to be able to return oxygen levels back to normal, our respiratory and body temperature back to normal, in addition to our circulating hormones that are oftentimes elevated, things like cortisol, have to go back to their resting, normal resting state, in addition to delivering, getting byproducts out of the system, in addition to delivering extra energy back to the cells, or rebuilding them by delivering oxygen to the cells. These energy sources are things like ATP, creatine, or glycogen, which is an energy source that's stored within the muscles. All of these things require energy to be able to return them back, which is why we can see elevated levels of calorie burning, not only within the workout, but within 6 to 12 hours, and sometimes even longer, depending on the amount of intensity that's burned after, or the amount of intensity of our workouts. This is really important to understand. And one of the reasons why I recommend getting really high intensity within your workouts if your body can tolerate it. This is obviously something you have to work up to. Working at too high of an intensity can be dangerous and lead to injury. But the goal here is to try to slowly build. A couple of the different ways you can do that are with things like Tabata intervals, speed workouts, or resistance training. I'll be talking in more details about these types of activities in the days to come. But I wanted to give you some insight about why these types of activities work so well. Hope that helps you today and make it a great one. I'll see you tomorrow.